95 in a dungery. Ninety-five. Jeez, we're whipping it to catch back up. Oh, Jesus! All units on the air dispatch is temporarily ten six. Charles 320, can I get an additional unit to Polito Bay for a 1050? Driver, pull it up further to the side. Driver, pull it over to the side of the road. Is he just... okay. One to 119 direct. Can I, uh, Sir, pull it over to the side of the road further, please. What's this guy doing? Driver, pull it over to the side of the road further, please. Okay, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Oh, what was that? Okay, you are there, so go ahead and pull it over to the side of the road further, please. 10 uh, on that scene, both tow trucks are. Uh, but I did pull over! Yeah, pull it over further to the right. You're on the road at the. Oh, okay. Yeah, pull it over. Can you attach me to uh, 320 traffic stop? 10 320, can you advise the location of your traffic stop? It's gonna be Great Ocean Highway. Postal 3026 on a Dungery Georgina. Can you roll me another additional unit? This guy's. 10 for what unit was back in 320? Charles Metamore 6. 10 for 46. Okay, sir, so Trooper Hype with San Andreas Highway Patrol. The reason for the stop is I clocked you doing 95 down the Great Ocean Highway. What's your reason for the speed? 95? I didn't even know this thing went that fast. No, uh, I was... Dashboard doesn't work too well. I was pretty surprised when it clocked too. You had anything to drink oh, today, uh, sir? No, I'm, uh... Oh, no, no, um... I'm just a kid, uh, but I was on my way to meet some friends, and I was just excited because a girl I like's gonna be there, and... <laughs> I, like I said, the dashboard's kind of broke because this car sucks, and my dad won't buy me a better one. And, uh, I just, I knew I was going fast, but I didn't think I was going that fast. Okay, you got a license on you, sir? Registration and proof of insurance? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Here, let me grab that for you. Oh, God! Yeah. Well, I'm glad I moved over. That would have killed me. Yeah, I'm very glad you moved over too, sir. I, I'm going to need that license in your name, though. Yeah, my name's Jace Baller. Okay, just sit tight, Mr. Baller, and I'll be back with you. Okay, sir. Hey, Trooper. How's it going? Hey, what's going on, Tom? What you got? Okay, he, he reckons he's a kid, he's on a way to a party or something, there's a girl there that he likes. I clocked him doing 95 in that thing, and then the hood fell off, went up in the air and nearly hit, me, hit my car. Um, he then pulled over half on the side of the road, half in the road. I managed to then finally get him over to the side, then he parks like that. Um, I'm going to check his license, I have a feeling he may be underage though. That's fine. Yeah, so if you can just keep an eye on him, he's a bit, I don't know, he's just... Unpredictable, I think. Hinky? Yeah. Gotcha. Hinky. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I don't trust this guy at all. He sounds like a kid. Um, so... He may want to run, because he's... I reckon he's probably going to be under eight. Oh no, he does have a valid driver's license. 
I'm gonna go and chat to him a bit more. His license is valid, Jeff. Okay. Okay, sir. So have you ever driven a motor car before? A motor vehicle? Uh, no, this is the only car uh, my my dad bought me. Um, I know the license plate though; it was dirty earlier, and the the V looked a lot like a Y. Um, so the paperwork might have been filed wrong because I, I had to fill it out. So it I think it's a V, but it it, it could have been filed as a Y. I don't know. Okay. Um. So you've driven a motor vehicle before. Have you ever been pulled over by the police before? I mean, I've talked. No, a, a cop hit my car a little while ago. I don't think I've been pulled over. Um, I'm only 16. I've had my license for like two months, and I mean, I, I've talked. I was at a car show, and a cop came around the corner and hit my fender, and I talked to a bunch of the cops. Oh, uh, this guy. And then I drove this really creepy guy. Really wanted me to drive his like real fancy fast car, and I drove that, but I accidentally wrecked it. Okay. But he said it was okay because he was rich. Okay. And then, do you know what to do when you're being pulled over by the police, though? When I was, He's just going to keep talking. Well, you, you, pull, uh, you pull over, like I did. Well, yeah, you pull safely over to the side of the road. You don't park half on the road, half in the shoulder, and then when I ask you to pull up, then you made this hard-ass right turn and nearly in the ditch. Like, you need to just... I don't know if I made you nervous or what's yeah, going but on, but you can pull over safely, okay? Yeah, don't do uh, it. Don't do exactly what you just did, because what you just did is exactly what not to do. I mean, you got your tail end oh, almost I crossing mean... the yellow line. You could get clipped by one of these cars, and they're racing through without without a care in the world, man. So, Mr. Oh, Bola, no, that's not the driver's handbook. Yeah, that's okay. You just sit tight, and I'll run everything else. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that it, you know if you'd driven a car and all that before. Okay. Oh yeah, I mean, I got my license only two months ago. Out of a cereal box. Sixty-eight RT. Is that sixty-eight RVT? RV. That's valid. Well, that one can suffice because that's what he was doing. Um. We've got to find out what happened with the bonnet as well. Okay, Mr. Baller, another issue that I have is when we were going down the highway when I was trying to catch up to you, your hood come flying off the vehicle, went up in the air and nearly hit my car. So, was it not latched correctly or what was what happened with that? have been a different car I haven't had a hood in a while no it was it was definitely on your car because when you went past me you had a hood and then it come off your car where was this at back back there on the great ocean I, I, I swear I haven't had a hood this whole time like I haven't had a hood since I got the car okay well my dad's cheap, and he's like, you get a cheap starter car, and if you want anything better, you got to go out and get a job. Okay, well... And then he gave me some long story how when he was my age, he worked two jobs, one at a gas station where he would sweep the floor, and then another one at a movie theater where, like, he would have to sell the popcorn. Okay, Mr. Baller, okay, okay. I'm going to... Hang on, and, hang on, hang on. But it's... And I'm trying to... I'm trying yeah, to buy a I, I know. I just... They're like $300. I, I know, Mr. Baller, I just need you to, to stop talking for a sec. Do you mind stepping out of this vehicle? This trooper's just going to inspect your car to make sure it's roadworthy, okay? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so just step out of the vehicle. Just walk over to the side of the road over here, just near this tree stump, and just stand there patiently, okay? You ought to just have a look at that, Jeff. Yeah, I'll take a look real quick. Is this right? Is this where you want? Yep, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine, man. Just stay right there, please. Fucking Jace Baller. 
Oh, Jesus. i got to wait to find out if this car's roadworthy or not, because if it's not, it was an unroadworthy vehicle that he was driving, and we'll be taking that off the road, and I nearly just got murdered by that car. Then it's going to rain. We can't even spell inspects. Well, it's not in that bad of a shape. I mean, it's got a tire, he's going to be like, this point in the next couple of thousand miles. But... Yeah, I'm just having a look at this front bit as well. Aside from the missing hood. Yeah, that came flying off when we were going down the Great Ocean. Like, it nearly landed on my car. Actually, he might have a turn signal out. Yeah, this left turn signal up front's out. Yeah, I just don't want him driving an unroadworthy vehicle on the road either. <laughs> um, okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that gives away a lot. Um, any thoughts on how you want to proceed with the vehicle? It's your stop, man, if you think it's unsafe. Well, if, if he's saying it runs, I mean, if he's saying it runs, um, I'm guessing that it needs a little bit of work at the um, body shop up there. Probably, but I mean, it's got a current inspection sticker. I mean, he had to do that when he got his registration. Yeah, I might just, I might just give him a fixer ticket for the um hood. Yeah, do it for the uh, the blinker light too. Oh, and he's got a blinker light missing. Okay, as well. Copy that. Yeah, front left, front left side. Okay. Um, I'm gonna answer this for dispatch. Yeah. My radio is that low. I didn't hear it actually. Let's just turn it up a little bit. Thank you. Um. Now, when the hood flew off on the road, I'm just thinking, what would that be under in the penal code? Unroadworthy vehicle. I'm just trying to think. I don't know. Hold on. Let me go grab my book in the car. Yeah, I'll grab mine and have a look, if we, and we'll just try and help each other out here. He's definitely getting the speeding ticket, so it's definitely not for 109, though. He was doing what? 95. So he was doing 95, so that's still, that's still the issue there. Um, so, I don't know what it would be under. I thought I said debris, or debris or something just then. Can I get the person's check? I don't know if it would be in this bit. I hear Jeff. Did you find anything, Jeff? Earl Jameson, 7 of 1983. The only two things I can think of off the top of my head, Tom, is going to be 316.2005 for door operation in an unsafe manner. Kind of would still apply to both the trunk lids and the hoods. And definitely 316.301 for the hazard in operation. Hang on, so what was the hazard one? Or burned out the turn signal. It's going to be 316.0, I'm sorry, 316.2005. 2005. Was there a fine for the blinker? I've got no idea why he has an M4 out. Yeah, it's a thousand. Okay. You got you're right there, you got your M4 out, just letting you know. Oh sorry. <laughs> it happens when I look at the book. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, alright. I'm not gonna worry about the hood, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna warn him about that because that's a lot of digging through the penal code at the moment, so I'll just let him know that the he right. probably should go and get that fixed and if he's got any loose parts in the that future to um just not drive the vehicle. Right, exactly. I 
Okay, Jace, you can come back over this side of the road, buddy. Okay, um... Alright, yeah, I was just text... I was just Snapchatting my friends. Okay, that's okay. Today you're going to be getting a ticket for your driving, okay? That's going to be a $3,000 fine because you were doing 95 and a 60, okay? $3,000? Yes. Oh, that kind of money? The other fine... That's going to kill me! I understand that. The other fine is $1,000 because you're missing a blinker, okay? So that's going to be $4,000 in total. But, I mean, can't you just charge me what a bulb cost? It's like... It's like... I didn't even know it was out. I don't get any warnings. No, you... And I'm, I'm giving you a break here because of your hood and all that. If you've got unsafe doors or latches or something, you need to go and get the car fixed because it's not roadworthy if that's the case, okay? Listen, Jace, here's the real deal. The fact is, if you weren't doing so far over the speed limit... I'd be more than willing to say, hey, we can get a fix the ticket for the light and the hood and everything like that. But that speeding, man, that's just something you can't ignore. So because of the speed, that's the reason why you're going to get the, uh, you know, get the other tag as well, man. Uh, it's just the way that it is. And okay, I mean, I didn't know I was going that fast. The speedometer's broken. I, I understand that. That changes everything. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hold it right there. Yeah, that the does speedometer doesn't change work. everything. Well, I mean, it, sometimes it does, but it, like, it wasn't today, and I was banging on okay. the dashboard, and it, like... That's... That yeah, changes no, everything. We're with, uh, yeah, we're, that changes everything for me. I'm gonna call for a 70. This vehicle is yeah. not returning to the road. Okay, okay. I, I gotta meet my friends! Yeah, that's... We'll deal with that after. At this time, though, the car's gonna be imp impounded, okay? It's gonna be taken to the yard where it'll be, um, parked up, okay? Until you can get the money to fix it. Well, I mean, how am I going to get the money if I don't have a car? Hang, hang on, Jason, because at the moment it doesn't have a hood. It doesn't have a speed of dominant that works. It's missing blinkers. It's not exactly roadworthy, okay? It cannot be on the road. But I'm going to lose my job! I, I don't think that's going to be the case, Jace. I, I think your job will be fine. We'll explain that. We can write you a letter and all that for the job. I'm an Uber driver, like, I don't get an Uber driver without my car! Um, unfortunately, Jace, I feel sorry for you, man, but that's just not my problem today, okay? My problem is keeping the other citizens of San Andreas safe and keeping you safe, okay? And if that means taking your car because it's unroadworthy, then that's what I have to do. I mean, can I get, can, can I tow it? Can I, like, have it taken back home or something? Um, you can have it taken wherever you want to have it taken, Jace. Yeah, she's working on oh, you just said you're gonna take it! No, here, no, we're not taking it. No. We're taking it off the road by calling a tow truck to tow you it. You can have it towed wherever you want. the tow truck gets here, yeah, you can have it towed. We're not impounding the vehicle. I think I accidentally got him scared because I think I did say we were taking it to impound. But you can, cannot <laughs> drive this vehicle on the road until that speedometer is definitely fixed. It, it's just not gonna happen. And if I see this vehicle again without, uh, you know, on the road, without a repair receipt or something indicating that the, the vehicle was fixed, then I will take it away from you. And if I see you, I'll suspend your license at, at best as well. Yeah, being but under 18... I have only had it for like man, two months. I know, man, but listen, when you're under the age of 18, you've got a probationary driver's license that's got a lot of restrictions on it. And driving... Getting caught <laughs> We're driving trying to scare the shit out of him, I think, now. Uh, highway Patrol already told you not to have on the highways... You know, that, that's a state matter right there, man. You can't be doing that. So, you got this car needs to be fixed before you can put it back on the road or you will get uh, your license taken away. It won't just be suspended. It might get revoked. Okay, then I mean, you'll, can you... And then... Can you... And, and man, and then you're going to have to wait till you're 18 years old before you can re reapply for your license. Okay, uh, can can you write something up so I can give it to my dad? Because I don't have any money, and sure. if I no, tell no, no, him, no, 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 I will. That, he I'm not. Like I said, you're definitely going to be getting a speeding ticket and, at the least, but I will write a fix it order, you know, with uh, the state letterhead that I've got, you know, so that you can give it to your dad. And say hey. Yeah, we're trying to help this guy out a bit as well. I'm not trying to fuck him over or anything. Right. Like. Uh, speeding ticket. He's gonna kill Chase, me. Chase, I do have one more question. I've just noticed you're stumbling around a little bit more than you were early when you got out of the car. Did you happen to have a drink or anything? No, 
is I twisted my ankle on this hill. Okay, well, I did grab my breathalyzer as well when I got out of the car, so I'm gonna have to get you to blow into this tube, okay? Oh, okay, that's fine. Have you ever blown into one of these before? And we did in health class one time. Okay, well, you just let me know when you're ready. Okay, um... Okay. Start blowing when you're ready. <laughs> keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, and stop. Okay, you can stop, Jace. Thank you. Um, do you want me to give you a lift somewhere once the tow truck gets here and takes your car, Jace? Yeah, well, that's another thing. That's true. I, my friends live in Polito. If you just want to drop me off in Polito. Yeah, I can drop you off in Polito. That works. So we'll just wait for the tow truck. They'll take your vehicle, and then I'll take you to your friend's place. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, do you just want to take a seat in my car for now, then, and wait for the tow truck driver? That way, you're not standing on the side of the road. Oh uh, yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay. Wh which one's yours? Mine's the front one, so if you go into your car on the passenger seat and grab whatever you need out of the car and then go and sit in my car. Okay. Oh man. Ain't stupid hill. Alright, we'll give him a lift. I'm not a complete dick. Okay, Jace, why are you sitting there? You can sign these tickets, okay? It's not an admission of guilt, just means you're gonna pay the fines. If you don't, um, sorry. If you don't pay the fine or sign it, I can ticket you for that as well, but you can contest this in court at a later date if you want to, okay? Well, if, if I sign it, is my dad still able to pay it? Um, yeah, probably. No, you were, the motor, you were driving the motor vehicle. Okay. You have to pay it. Well, I mean, but... It I'll have to get the money from my dad, like, I can't have him... Yeah, he can give he can give you the money to pay it. But you have to pay it. Okay, because, I mean, I, I, I don't really have any money. I got, like, $53, and me and my friends were going to go out tonight, and there's this girl I like, I was going to take her on a date, and, like, if I got to pay, like, all this money you're saying, it's, I just, I don't have it. Okay. I, 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 route from Grape Seed. He'll be here in a few moments. Okay, copy. Yeah, I understand that, Jace. You can get the money off your dad, but you, you've got to pay it, okay? Okay, um, here, I'll sign them right now. Taking the fucking ticket. I'm taking the money. What was it? 3,000, so that's four. We're taking the money, buddy. There we go. Alright. You get to keep the top copy, I keep the bottom copy, okay? You can just sit that on your lap or something. Okay, I'll just put it in my pocket. Okay, just hang tight. The tow truck should be probably five minutes or less, hopefully. Yeah, the speedo thing's a completely different story. What a mess. Yeah, when you got a equipment in op, because that's required in the handbook, in the driver's handbook, you know, your vehicle must be fully working and everything like that. With all of its <laughs> Do you know what? He may have even mentioned to that to me at the beginning of the stop and it just completely went past my mind because I because I have a headache and I probably wasn't paying that much attention yeah and I think he actually did I mention to that though. yeah nice nice yeah in, in the future I mean if they say anything like that I'm, that's it it's gone yeah no I mean, no definitely I'm just not at the top gauge, of my game at the that moment stuff <laughs> yeah any of the other gauges you know you know they're just there for information but that speedometer is actually required Yes, definitely. Yeah, it was definitely a game changer once I, you said hold, and I was like, got got my bearings. I was like, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens, man. I do it all the time. Yeah, and I, I was. If you want to go ahead and clear with him, I'll, I'll wait for the tow. I don't mind waiting. Yeah. Like okay. Yeah. Tonight. Cool. That'd be so. great, man. Yeah, I wasn't trying to give him every ticket in the world, but I I can't go easy on him either, and I was trying to scare him a little bit to do the right thing next yeah. time. Well.
the way that I look at it is, if I'm pulling them over just for a reason, you know, just a, a minor reason, and their record comes back with no recents, you know, I understand, you know, if they had a few tickets in the past or even a few arrests, but, you know, if their recents are okay, and it's nothing too bad as far as what I'm pulling them over yeah, for, usually I'll just shoot them a warning. But with the speed like that, no, I would never, not for speed. Yeah, definitely. Um, are you right to just grab the address off him for the car to be towed to the address he wants and then I'll clear off? Yeah, I'll grab that from Yeah. Alright, Jace, he's going to give you a ride to where you need to go. I'm going to stay with your vehicle till the tow truck gets here. Is there any specific place you need to tow to? Uh, yeah, I, um, here, let me give you my address real quick. Yeah. I think he did say about the speed of Domina at the um, beginning of this stop, and it completely went straight in one ear and out the other. But that's okay. Same three, five, seven from it's all good. Used half a tank, I think, a gas had just sitting here already nearly. It's great. Yeah, I love it. 856 Mad Wayne Thunder. Clear the radar. And Vinewood Hills. Vinewood Hills, that's a nice. You, you live in Vinewood Hills, but you don't have any money. Well, What's no, that street name again? I used to live in. Uh. uh Mad, Mad Wayne? Okay. But, uh. All no, right. I, I used to live in Grapeseed, and I had a lot of uh, friends in Polito and Grapeseed, and one of them was having a, a little party, and this girl I like is gonna Oh, be here we go with the girl I like. My dad doesn't know I'm up here, like, he really doesn't want me driving this far, so. Yeah. Okay. All right, Jace. We're gonna to head to your friend's place. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll text him real quick. Where the fuck's this waypoint going? All right. Do you want to put a waypoint on the GPS so I know where I'm going? I didn't say I was taking you that fucking far. Uh, there you go. All right. We're gonna head over there. Okay. Okay. That's really nice in here. Can you dispatch one times 1070 for his uh, state trooper? Uh, 10-4. It's going to be off-duty rotation. Trying to get on the radio. What laptop is this? Are you able to play any good games on it? Like, like Roblox? No, no. It's just a waterproof, um, tough book. Charles 320. What's a tough book? Is that, is that like a... Sorry about that. 320, book, because... Sorry, um, I'm going to be giving a courtesy suck, ride to a Jay Spooler in Polito Bay. That's why I love that thing. Alright, see ya, Jeff. See ya, you guys be safe. 119 from Central. Is this... Also, is this gun loaded? Yep, like, in route, two minutes. I, I've never seen a, a, a car... Which gun? Show me back, 10-8. This is a big shotgun right here. Everything's loaded, Mr. Baller. Oh traffic. shoot! Ten four two seven one. So how do you turn on the sirens? Um, it's gonna be the buttons in the middle, near the steering wheel. You want to the felony stop? Can, can you can you turn them on? County seven one nineteen traffic. Go ahead. Maybe once we get to where you're going, Mr. Bowler. Stop it. Lamb truck is going to be red in color. Oh, okay, because uh, that'd be really cool. Closest postal, 949. 10-4, Eastbound Route 68, closest postal, 949, traffic stop. That'd be really that cool. regarding the shots fired? Oh, Where shots fired. red thing uh, on the 10 roof? 10-4, possibly. 10-4. That is a light so I can see of a night. Oh, okay. I just, it's so it's big and red. I didn't think it was. Yeah, it's it, so it's not as you know how those other uh, lights are quite bright and annoying. This one's one of those dim ones, and it just helps me see a bit inside of the vehicle to touch buttons. <laughs> oh, okay, that's that's cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Okay, this is where you wanted to go. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Th um, thank you. Um, and uh. 
if, if my dad gets really, really angry, um... Charles, one for six, your status. Like, is there any way he could talk to you guys about maybe, like, getting rid of the... Like, taking care of the tickets or something? Yes, I'm sure once you talk to your father and you contact the, um... The judge and all that stuff, you can get that all sorted, okay? Okay, um... If you guys don't see me again, it's because he killed me. Like, he, he's Can't always like, damn it, Jay, stop getting into trouble. Oh, for fuck's sake. And it's, I don't, I, I don't do anything wrong. <laughs> somehow I get in trouble. Okay, I understand, Jace. If anything happens to you, I'll know who to talk to, okay? Okay, alright. Bye. Alright, bye. Be safe, okay? Jesus Christ. Okay. Charles, 320. 320. I'll be back, 10 8 available. 10 for 320. Well, that was interesting.